Everybody says they're just waiting for their life to start. Uh -uh. That's not true because opportunity is not fair and luck is not fair. Keep watching to find out what book I'm talking about today. Hey, it's Kyla Benango, and today we're talking all about glamour, Hollywood, and how to get ahead in your career. So today we're talking about the book, The Seven Husbands of Evelyn Hugo. The author of the book is Taylor Jenkins Reid. The genre of the book is historical fiction. The theme of the book is literature romance, okay? So, Seven Husbands, Evelyn Hugo, what's the big deal? You read the book, you find out this emerald gown is a huge deal. But there was an unexpected lesson that I got out of this book, okay? A lot of people talk about the ending, which was incredible. A lot of people talk about the Devil Wears Prada type vibes, right? Because Evelyn Hugo was super demanding. She had all of these claims on the writer. But to me, the most important part is how to get ahead in your career, according to Evelyn Hugo. And so for me, the biggest turning point was when she had the taxi driver and she was like, take me here. Tomorrow, call me. Tell me what you want. And she was hoping, hoping, hoping that they did not call and that they did not ask to be rich and famous and amazing. And of course they did, right? And so in my mind, I imagine the person who was the taxi driver was like Tom Cruise. <laughs> Evelyn Hugo is supposed to be a fictional character. I think she was like a mashup of a lot of different old Hollywood actresses. But I still think it was either Tom Cruise or maybe Matt Damon. <laughs> because... You know, she says that the person called, she did what she needed to do and they got a couple roles. And from there on, they got to do what they wanted to with their fame. But like, let me tell you, without the opportunity of being the driver of Evelyn Hugo, without being in the right place at the right time to even have some huge movie star, I'm talking like the Will Smiths of the world. I'm talking like Meryl Streep. And somebody is like, Hey, I owe you one. Call me tomorrow and tell me what you want. What? What would you ask for? Right? Like, well, I'm really curious about everything. So I'd be like, Meryl, just tell me why you got started. Tell me about your life. Everything that wasn't in a book. Right? But this person asked to be put up for a role and Evelyn did it and they got the role and then they started rolling from there. So like, to advance in your career, you have to be in the right place at the right time and ask for the right thing, <laughs> okay? Because you don't want to squander that opportunity, right? So speaking of squandering opportunities, this is a great time for you to consider subscribing to the podcast. I talk about books every single week. I've talked about other books by Taylor Jenkins Reid. So go on and subscribe if you're enjoying the content, okay? So yes, you have to be in the right place at the right time, but that was also an important key for Monique, right? Monique ends up being at this newspaper and they're like, we want you to go interview this person and get the story. And she was in the right place at the right time. Now, when you read the book, you'll find out that everything in the universe was working. Everything in Evelyn's universe was working to get Monique on this job. But that still goes to say, you have to know what you want when you are in the room, okay? The room where it happened. <laughs> you have to know exactly what you want, right? So Nick took advantage of that. Monique took advantage of that. Um, otherwise, oh, such a page turner. The fact that Evelyn was a beard for someone and her husband was a beard for her, hilarious. Um... I just love the different mashups, right? You start reading the book and you're just expecting some scandalous story about these seven husbands and there was none. It was, it was phenomenal. It was really, really good, but there are so many lessons. So, so much gold in this book, okay? Pick up this book and read it because I want you to tell me in the comments what you thought about the book. I did not find all of the things that everybody else is talking about relevant. I really enjoyed how people were making the best of the opportunities presented to them, okay? And I'm curious to know, like, what did you take out of it? Because there were so many different lessons, so many different storylines, so many different gems. Taylor Jenkins Reid is phenomenal. All right, so I will see you in the next book review. Go on and check this one out here, which is all about, can you have more than one true love? Is it possible? And what do you do with it? See you in the next one.